Now let's talk about question number 52. The graph of y is equal to fx is given to you. If ai for i is equal to 1, 2, 3 up to n be the integral value of a for which the equation fx whole square minus twice a plus 5 into fx plus 10 minus 2a has exactly 10 distinct solutions. Now here the thing is that for 10 solutions, you see for 10 solutions, fx will be belonging to, fx belongs to 0, 3. Okay, this is what we have, fine. And also we say fx belongs to 3, infinity, fine. This is what we can talk about, right? Now, what we can do, we can take this to be t suppose, okay. This is, let me take it as suppose gt, okay, and this is t and this is going to be t. So that means if we talk about this particular form here, we have gt is equal to how much? You know, because we have taken this as t, so let me write it as t square minus twice of a plus 5 into t plus 10 minus of twice of a. This has been given to you, right? Now, in this case, say, so in this case, what we have, we have g of 0 is always going to be greater than 0. And if we talk about g of 3, this is always less than 0, which I, right? So, we solve this two inequality by substituting the value here by wavy curve method and we come out with the values to be a is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, right? Once you solve it for a is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, that means the value to be what? 10. So, the final answer is going to be 10 in this case, right? This is what we have. Now, let me go to the next problem. You see, it's a problem being given to you in terms of root. So, 1 upon root 1 plus 1 upon root 2 plus 1 upon root 3 plus, you know, up to 1 upon root 3, 9, 9. So, we have to find the greatest integer part of s by 2. So, we have to use an inequality in this. So, this is going to be what? 1 upon root k plus root k plus 1, okay? This is what we have. Less than 1 upon 2 root k, okay? This is being given to us, 2 root k less than we have 1 upon root k plus root k minus 1, right? This is what we have or we can write it as root k plus 1 plus root k. So, we rationalize. So, once you write root, you know, root k plus 1 minus root k, denominator, numerator, we multiply, we come out with this part, see, root k we have less than 1 upon 2 root k. Then we are left out with root k minus of root k minus 1, right? This is what we have. Now, friends, because we have 399 terms, so summation can be taken. 1, 2, 3, 9, 9, right? This is what you have. Got it? And this is root of k plus 1 minus of root k. Then less than, we have again, we have taken the summation of this also. This is 3, 9, 9, 1 upon 2 root k less than k is equal to 1, 2, 3, 9, 9, which is root k minus of root k minus 1. This has been given to us, right? So, we just see the equation here. So, obviously, what are the values we can have? We can see here, we can just substitute the values. We have the terms here, plus minus terms will be cancelled, the same term. We are left out with only with 401 in this case. So, this is going to be root of 400, that is going to be 20 minus 1. This is 19 we have, friends. Okay. Then we have less than this is somewhat like s by 2 we have, got it, okay. And then we can just talk about this part. This is going to be how much? This is going to be again root of 399, okay. This is being given to us. And once you have this part, so we just take the greatest integer of these two values and we get the answer to be 19 in this case. The final answer is 19 friends, right? This is the answer we have, okay? Now, let's talk about question number 54. If vector r and s are non-zero constant vectors such that magnitude of r is equal to 3 and a scalar b is chosen such that vector r plus b times vector s 
the magnitude is minimum, then the value of this b times vector s whole square you know the modulus has been taken and we have to take the square of that similarly for this vector also we have to take the square of that. Now how to go about it let us have a look at the diagram part now here if we see the things we have r as the non-zero constant vector so this is going to be the position vector so a is this part this is the vector r which is represented by the point a then we have the next part is b and we have been given one more vector that is b as vector so i have this vector can you see that so ultimately if we talk about this one this one now what about this vector then this is going to be how much this is going to be r plus we have b as well vector right so if we talk about the magnitude part now the thing is that this is minimum this is minimum if this is minimum that means this plus this is going to be the magnitude of r right square right this is equal to this if this is minimum this is always equal to be this so that means the answer is going to be 9 in this case because this is 3 being given to you and this is equal to 9 we have to square it so final answer is going to be 9 in this case.